guys, today we're going to be opening this Okashi Connection subscription box. This is the Sumo box. There are three different types of boxes. There are three different types of boxes you can get, and this is the Sumo, so it's really big. I will put all of the information down below in the description of where you can get this box, but let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the pamphlet it comes with. This says Spring Box Number One, so I don't know how many Spring Boxes there are going to be. The three different types of boxes you can get are Ninja, Samurai, and Sumo. So Sumo is the biggest. This is everything that comes in the box, including the ones on the back. This is the first thing that I pulled out, and this is kind of scary, so there's like a garlic with like an evil face on here so I think these are gonna be pretty garlicky this says that it's fried noodle crisps with extreme garlic taste package warns to eat alone and to be careful not to assault others with the garlic smell awesome good thing I'm home by myself I'll make sure to eat these right before my husband gets home <laughs> if I can open it Woo! definitely smells like garlic so these are like little dried noodles I definitely smell the garlic smell so here we go There's definitely a strong garlic taste to that, but I really like it. It's really nice. I love garlic. So I think those are really nice and they have a good crunch, so I'd probably give those like a 5 out of 5. They probably won't make my breath smell like a 5 out of 5, but I don't care. Next is this, and it's in a really cute pink package. Ah, crap. So these are marshmallows with a filling, and I've had these before, um, like pineapple flavor. The marshmallow is Sakura or Cherry Blossom Mochi. And the filling is red bean paste. And if you guys have been watching my channel, I am not a fan of either Sakura flavor or red bean paste. So these are probably going to be awful to me. And Estrella, if she's watching this, is probably laughing at me. So <laughs> let's go ahead and try it. I was hoping this would be a fun, like, strawberry flavor, but of course it's not. I don't really smell like anything yet. It's not terrible. The marshmallow definitely has a perfumey taste, which is the Sakura. Sakura? Sakura? I can't say it. And then the red bean is just like the, it's like a musty flavor to me. So these actually aren't terrible. I kind of was being dramatic. To me though, I'd probably only give these like a two out of five. But if you like Sakura, Sakura, Sakura? Maybe? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm trying to learn Japanese right now, so yes. These are so cute. Okay, so these are apparently pancake flavored Kit Kats. Pancake flavored. I'm so excited. I love pancakes. And I love things that are flavored like pancakes. They're even like a little bunny made out of pancakes. I guess these are eat for Easter. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm really, really excited. Like, you have no idea. So these are the packaging. They always have really cute Easter themed Kit Kats. I feel like in Japan. Oh, it's so cute. So the Kit Kat itself is shaped like a bunny and has a bunny face on it. You can't really see. So cute. Uh... Smells so good. It smells like maple syrup. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It didn't like hit me until I really like chewed into the thing. There's such a good buttery flavor and then they added in like the maple flavor. Oh my gosh, it tastes exactly like a pancake. I'm dying of happiness. <sighs> this is so good. It tastes exactly like a pancake. I wish I could share this with all of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like the buttery flavor is so good. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to go like share these with Australia because these are amazing. So good. Five out of five. Five out of five. Next are these, and these are called Puyo Puyo Gumi, and apparently the flavors are grape, musket, apple, peach, lemon, and soda. So this is what they look like. They're just like little, I don't know what this little character is on the front. They're like little drops, but it's really cute. Mmm, that was a soda flavored one. They look like little ghosts. That was the grape. These are really, really good. They're very flavorful and chewy. Nice little gummies, so I give this a 5 out of 5. Next is this, which looks really cool. It has a Pikachu on it, and I don't think I've ever seen these before. 
This is called Cari Pori Candy, and it says that it is Mixolay and Psycho Soda. I don't know what Mixolay means. There's a QR code on here that apparently you can scan and does a story. But I'm filming with my phone, so I can't do that. Sorry. I still am not, I'm, I'm still not sure what these are exactly, but we're going to try it. So they come in individually wrapped little things. So there's two sticks per package. Oh, 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 oh. I was not expecting it to be hard. For some reason, I was expecting this to be very soft, but it is not. It kind of tastes like when you bite into like a peppermint candy, like that hard texture. The flavor is good. It's very sweet, but I don't really particularly like that it's hard. I wish it was soft. I guess I'll go ahead and try the yellow flavor since I don't know what mix lay means. Okay, so this is the yellow one. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Probably give those a three out of five. Next are these Rilakkuma pretzels, which are always good. Has cute packaging, little Rilakkuma all over it. So they're just like little sticks. Little buttery biscuits. They're not bad, three out of five. Next is this, which looks very chocolatey. It says it is Ume Shimikomi Cocoa. Chocolate flavored rusks, crispy with a slight powdery texture. This is what it looks like. I think I might have had these before. Mmm. Okay, so these are the same characters that are on the Umes. And the Umes are kind of like Cheetos. And these are like Cheetos covered in chocolate. So it's very, very good. They have a really nice, like, crunchy texture. I like them. I give those a 5 out of 5. So, unfortunately, I don't think my taste buds really agree with Japanese in the spring. Because next is this. And look what's on the front of the packaging. A rose, my favorite flavor. This says it's berry and rose flavored. And it's supposed to make you smell nice. So, let us try one. I just feel when I'm eating rose flavored candy that I'm literally drinking perfume. And I don't like it. The berry, fl the berry smell is taking over the rose right now, so it smells actually pretty good. So let's try it. This was berry and rose, so the berry kind of offset the rose a little bit, but it's still a very, like, perfumey thing that you're eating. So if you like rose, then I think you'll like these because the berry actually makes it really nice. The candy itself had, like, a thin candy coating on it, and then it was chewy on the inside, so that was kind of cool. I didn't spit it out, so it wasn't that bad. I'd probably give it maybe like a 2 out of 5. Um, but if you like rose candies, then you'll probably like this a lot because it was pretty good. Minus the rose. <laughs> okay, so, I so I'm so picky. I really shouldn't be doing these boxes because I am such a picky eater. I will fully admit to that right now because I just... And a lot of the Japanese flavors that are very, very common and popular, I don't like. So I don't like Sakura flavor. I don't like rose flavor. And I definitely do not like green tea flavor. And that's what these are. But I'll go ahead and try them anyways. So these are Look Chocolates, which I actually really like Look, the brand of chocolates. I really like the strawberry ones. So they're just like, like this. I already smell the matcha. It just is like very bitter smelling to me. It smells like grass. Like it smells like grass to me. But inside is very, very bright, bright green. Look, chocolate is very nice. It's a very, very smooth. Of course, I don't really like the matcha flavor. It's not awful. It's just very, like, musty flavor to me. I, I think I'm, I'm a super taster, I'm pretty sure, so I can't do bitter at all. But Look is a very, very good chocolate brand, so if you can find these, it's a very, very good. Um, and if you like green tea, you'll like this a lot. It's a very strong green tea flavor, and it's really nice with the chocolate. So I'm going to give this like a 1 out of 5. So next is this, which I'm really excited about. And this says that it is custard pudding flavored. And it looks really, really yummy. So this is what it looks like, little koala. Ooh, yeah. That is really good. It's really, really nice pudding flavor on the inside. Really, really good. I give that one a 5 out of 5. So next are these two little panda things. And this one says it is melon flavored. And then this one is a butter cookie. So let's start with the melon one. 
I've never had a melon flavored cookie before, I don't think. Oh, it's so cute. It broke, but it's a little panda head and it's really cute. Okay, I'm really curious. Huh. It does have a very light melon flavor, which is very interesting to me. I've never had a melon flavored cookie. That's really good. It's very, very interesting. I give that one a 5 out of 5. Now let's try the butter flavored one. Oh, his face broke again, but he's still cute. Very nice buttery flavor, light, crispy biscuit. So I give those both 5 out of 5. Next is this, which is called the Monster Stamp. And I actually literally just got this in another box. But it's basically a candy that is a stamp. So this is what it looks like. You can get it wet on your tongue. And then you can stamp it. So I did a bunch of little, there's little pumpkins. It's a very, very hard candy, but once you bite it, it kind of dissolves. And it's cola flavored. I don't really like the texture. It's kind of gritty. So I'd probably give that a 3 out of 5. It's really cool that it stamps, though. Next is this giant box. And this is called Pipari Peanut Butter. And it says it is very slightly salty with peanut butter flavor and a unique mix of salty and sweet. So these are like giant little like cracker thingies. So it's kind of like a rice cracker, but then it has like a sweet salty coating on it that tastes like peanut butter. They're really good though. They have a nice peanut butter flavor, so I'd probably give those ones a four out of five. Lastly is this DIY candy kit. It is called Hore Hore Chocolate Choco. And you basically dig through the chocolate to find gummies. So that'll be something I do in a candy kit marathon. So that's pretty awesome. So that is it for this Okashi Connection box. Again, this was the Sumo box, but there are two other sizes that you can choose. I will put all the information down below in the description as well as the link to their website. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!